Welcome everyone. Some interesting items here for those people who like uh, the Halloween, the spooky aspects, the more what would we consider occult things. Well, these are fascinating. Uh, there's a fascinating line made by Lennox, L-E-M-A-X. Lennox Spooky Town. Now, a lot of their different... Um, they have houses, they have statues like this, uh, can be found at Michael's locally, uh, and you can find them pretty much online, and if you want to get any of the older uh, retired, and they come out with a whole line of these things. Every year they come out with new, uh, particularly uh, different types of, uh, quote, houses, and they're really cool. I've done a few um, uh, videos on those. Um, and I have a big collection of these. You plug them in kind of like Christmas houses, but I have uh, my whole house decorated with all these items. Uh, I find them so fascinating and interesting that I like to have these around. These are cool little items you can have. You can put these on your altar. I stick them around it. What's kind of cool about these particular ones is that it's hard to find anything that has an Aztec uh, Mayan type motif. And uh, these are, of course, uh, no longer made, but you can still find them online on eBay and other places, and uh, I don't think they're all that popular, but, you know, if you're looking for some kind of Mayan items to put, Aztec items to put on your altar, maybe you're dealing with some of those types of god forms, uh, these are really cool. And, of course, everything made by Lennox, uh, these are just resin, and I don't know if we can make the label out there. These are resin, but they're very nicely painted, very well sculptured. You can't really beat them. Um, but, you know, it's very hard to find things with that kind of motif. And this is really cool. Um, and as I said, you can just put this on your desk. You can put it on your altar, uh, depending on how you want to do any of this stuff. Um, but, you know, finding cool stuff, you know, this is how you stay involved and connected to your path of empowerment. Here's the other one, which is really very Aztec mayan -y. That's supposed to be an old statue that's been found in the jungle. And you can see how, so I don't know if we can get the focus here. But they're very well made, very well painted, and very well sculptured. And again, it's Spooky Town by Len Max. L-E-M-A-X. And as I said, these are retired items, but, you know, you can find these, as I said, usually um, eBay. I believe I got these off of eBay. They were made probably 10 years ago, but look at the great detail on that. And wouldn't that look really cool uh, on your altar or just as a decorative item on your desk if you feel in that mood? But this is how you always keep connected. Why have common stupid items? Why have Mickey Mouse or whatever else uh, people may have sitting on their desk? Have something that that has value, uh, that reminds you of your path or what you're doing, keeps you kind of in that uh, spiritual reality. And you can see these are really well detailed and very well painted. And of course, they have many of these. I've talked about houses and so forth. Here's the actual uh, blood fountain, you know, because they have all this. It's, these are supposed to be for Halloween, but, you know, Halloween is your second biggest holiday, believe that or not. People love it. Um, and there's no reason why you should limit your kind of fun, uh, spooky, magical type items just to Halloween things. Uh, so you can see again how cool this is made with the gargoyles sitting here, uh, the blood fountain filled with blood, and you see all this here. So um, really cool. And again, they're very well made. Let's see what it says on this on the bottom. Well, not much, but it's uh, this again is Lennox, Len Max, Lee Max, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, so these are cool. And they have all sorts of things. They have, as I said, many of the things light up. They have things that talk. You have these towns. And as I said, I've made some other uh, videos uh, showing a lot of those interesting um uh, type of houses you can get. You plug them in and they have things that move a lot of them or they light up. They have things based on Ghostbusters and um, fortune tellers and so many other things that are just really cool. And this is, of course, one of them with the kind of actual 
um, gargoyle blood fountain, and you can see the actual um, at the top there. Get that in focus somewhat. But very well made, very nice. Uh, you have to be a little careful. They tend to easily, if you drop these or something, you're most likely going to break them or chip them. They are just that hard resin. and uh, But they make very, very cool items. Again, you could put this on your desk. Kind of fun. Kind of keeps you in that. A little bit of an altered state. You always want to stay out of common reality and connect with the common society that enslaves you and disempowers you. So you want to have things like this. And there's multi. So and you can get them from all different prices. Some of the electric houses. Uh, are expensive, can be a uh, hundred to two hundred dollars. Something like this, I'm not sure what I paid for this, but these are like fifteen twenty dollars. Uh, but this is something, of course, again, that you uh, is a permanent uh, decoration that you keep in your house. So do check out Spooky Town, and there's several other less expensive manufacturers. There's Creepy Town, and you can look through. I'm not sure anybody even knows that people make these, but you can find these a lot of these things in your local stores during Halloween uh, that are less expensive. And even, you know, the day after Halloween, I used to go into uh, stores and buy a bunch of stuff because they usually were 50% or more off. Um, and, but of course you're not going to get this kind of quality in your common little, uh, Walgreens or other places. This has to be bought in a specialty store or as you said, Michael's has a lot of the actual houses. If they're still around, I understand they're in bankruptcy. Uh, but the whole idea is that, uh, we have, um, these fantastic things to keep you, uh, interested and centered into your tradition instead of being caught up with, uh, the common junk out there, but do look around and uh, of course, uh, always check your stores during Halloween and after Halloween to get great buys. And, uh, there are just many, uh, fun things that you can get out there. And I leave these in my home year round. Halloween is a state of mind. And uh, there's no reason why you should limit it to the ridiculous one day for a holiday that is the second most money is spent on Halloween after Christmas. Hope you enjoyed.